Hi guys, let us cook chicken chow mein today. Quick, simple, flavorful. Few ingredients, we're gonna put it together. Once you've got your ingredient prepped and ready, it really, really takes a few minutes to put it together. Um, I've prepped this, but we're gonna on the menu today. We've got chicken chow mein. This is chicken thigh meat. We've marinated it in ginger powder, garlic powder, brined it overnight, left it here. We've got some mushrooms here. We're gonna stir fry these. Got some veggies that are cut here. I'm using cucumbers. We're gonna add this towards the end instead of cabbage, lettuce, uh, carrots, spring onions, uh, green chilies, um, cashews, ginger garlic. And then obviously we've got some spices here. We've got mandatory, the five spice powder, the Indo Chinese, some Kashmiri chili, baking soda, soy sauce, normal soy sauce, the sweet soy sauce, so I'll start off with the mushrooms first. I'm gonna wait for the pan to get super smoking hot. And once it's hot, we're gonna add the mushrooms in and we're gonna leave it. Um, if you kind of stir the mushrooms a lot at this stage, what happens is it ends up releasing a lot of liquid and juices. We don't want that. We want it to get some nice color. And once the mushrooms got nice and even color like this, we're gonna take it off in the same oil, in the same pan. I'm going to add a little bit of oil and add the chicken and also along with that add a little bit of baking soda now adding baking soda or bicarbonate of soda will help tenderize your chicken on the inside but make it crispy on the outside so that's our oil in there's our chicken going in that's marinated with ginger powder and garlic powder now i'm going to add some baking soda and i'm going to do this in small batches so that it ends up being nice and golden and crispy. Like I said, adding baking soda will help tenderize the chicken on the inside and make it crispy on the outside. While the chicken gets done, we're using these fine noodles here. We're gonna soak this in boiling water for a minute or so and then take it out. And that way that's going to be done so it all gets done. So that's all our chicken done for the batches. I've Soak the, um, the noodles in some boiling water, put a lid on, and basically from here, all we're going to do is add some ginger garlic, um, the spices, soy sauce, and obviously just add all, um, I'm also, before anything else, sorry, I'm gonna just add my cashews, stir fry it, and keep it aside. Okay, so from here, pretty simple, we're gonna add the Fresh ginger and garlic. Lots of fresh ginger and garlic. I'm gonna stir fry this. I'm going to go in with the green chilies. Give this a bit fast. Once the flavors, we'll add the carrot as well, and then the spices. So now we'll go in with the spices i always like to add indo chinese at this stage and five spice later so i'm going to go in some indo chinese some kashmiri chili and we'll go in with the soy sauce and the sweet soy sauce A tiny little bit. So along with this, what I'm also going to do is add in uh, about half of a cup of chicken stock. If you have chicken stock, if you don't have chicken stock, um, you can add water, but chicken stock does give it a nice flavor. Now we're going to add all our um, chicken, the nuts, the carrots, and the noodles back in here. Give it a toss, taste for seasoning, and we add that. So that's our carrots, chicken, and mushrooms gone in with our ginger garlic. Now the noodles go in. We give it a light toss, taste for seasoning, and that's it. Right, so we're gonna give it a toss, and then I'm going to season it um, with the five spice. And then towards the very end, we're gonna go in with some sesame oil and our cucum um, cucumbers and lettuce. You want to be gentle with your noodles, especially when you're cooking it, because you don't want it to break. You still want it to sort of remain whole. So when you're using, try and use a, what do you call this, Amar? Uh, what do we 
call it? Tongs. Tongs, right, that's it. We call it tongs, right. Now, we did add a little bit of five spice. I'm gonna go in with a slight bit of more five spice. And then I've got my greens here. Now, Okay, right, guys, so we're going to put the final touches to this charm in. I prepped this. I finished it off nearly towards the very end. What we're going to do is we're going to go with a generous drizzle of sesame oil. And then I'm going to top it up with some chili oil as well. Now, remember, some lettuce here. And I've got some cucumber here. And we're adding this just towards the end for final touches. We've got some spring onions here. And that is our chicken charm in.